Here's another mushroom, the false morel. Now, there are quite a few mushroom types actually that fall under the false morel name, but all of them are known for looking quite a bit like the highly prized edible mushroom, the actual morel. Now, most of the false morels fall into the genus Gyromitra, or Gyromitra, I don't know. But they're all morphologically very similar in mimicking the genuine morel mushroom. Now, here are two genuine morels compared to one false morel. Side by side, they don't look very similar at all. However, especially with beginner foragers, they might be quite easily confused, especially if you don't have that much experience collecting mushrooms. Why does the yard maintenance always start right as soon as I start filming? So, the main danger of consuming false morels is the toxicity. Most of the morel mimics are poisonous to some level. Now, the severity differs depending on what type you get, and some of them can actually be eaten safely and are quite good if they're properly cooked, but not all of them. Most of them, especially in the Gyromitra genus, have the same toxin called Gyromitrin, which is carcinogenic and also hemolytic, meaning it explodes your red blood cells and can lead to kidney failure. Now, most of the time, false morels are only dangerous if consumed uncooked in a very large amount. However, still this does boil down to, if you're not 100% sure what a mushroom is, don't eat it.